What's up guys, welcome to another color grading tutorial and today we're going to be working with the footage shot on the Mavic, I believe it's DJI Mavic. And before we start I want to say special thank you to Drew Morgan for providing me this awesome drone footage. Thank you so much. And today we're going to be turning pretty much this footage right over here and I have no idea yet what I'm going to do. So actually, you know what? I'm not going to show you the still what we're going to do today. We're just going to do it. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. I have no idea, so stay along for the ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but hopefully I'm going to be able to do anything creative. Anyways, enough of chatter. Let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new node. And in this node, I'm going to add a little bit saturation, as I do in many of my tutorials which at this moment kind of look a little bit disgusting if you're going to ask me. So what I'm going to do, because it's a little bit too much, I'm going to dial it down just like that. Let's do half. Okay, so that looks great. Well, that's, you know, decent first step. So I'm going to call it SAT for saturation. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, let's see. We have the camera flying and spinning right now, really cool. All right, good stuff. So, we have a lot of green, but I don't really like how this green in particular looks like. So, I want to give it a little bit of extra bump, I guess. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the qualifier, and I'm actually going to use the entire hue, saturation, and luminance to qualify a little bit of green. So, let's see, what kind of green I like. Well, I'm going to just click it over here. Alright, let's select the highlight... It's all right, you know, not a bad job. Let's see, kind of sticking, not too bad. And I'm just gonna start making it a little bit wider. Okay, I'm playing around. I still have no idea what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let me add a little bit of low. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna do clean white. Basically what clean white does, it makes the selection a little bit cleaner. However, it's if you have a refined selection and you're adding white or black, it's kind of make it a little bit shaky, noisy, if you wish. And it also messes up your finesse selection. So keep that in mind. You, you know, you're adding one thing and at the same time you're sacrificing another thing. Anyways, so let me take a look. Okay, you see how now we have kind of crazy dancing noise, which... Actually, you can completely get away with it because the camera is sort of flying and not a lot of people are going to be able to catch up, you know, that crazy dancing noise. However, let's clean it up more. Okay, like this is fine. Okay, I think we can totally get away with it. Okay, and what I'm going to do, very simple, I'm going to go to the primaries and I'm just going to start introducing a little bit more green. Okay, just like this. I'm just pulling it down. So take a look how cool it looks now, before and after. And even though it looks like a very simple modification that we've done, it actually makes a huge difference. Look at that, before and after. Check this out, before and after. Looks very, very nice. Okay, so next thing. Our overall exposure is pretty nice. It's very decent, so I'm not gonna mess with it at the moment. And what I'm gonna do now, so let me label this as greens, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually play around a little bit with the blue skies, okay? So I'm going to go to hue versus hue, and I'm going to select a little bit of blue just like that. And by dragging up and down, we can actually see the effect of it. And by the way, this is actually... A gradient in perfected gradient from the codec compression so uh, this is 8-bit I assume the higher you bits let's say like 10 or 12 or 14 the less of that you're gonna have okay so we can fix that just by dragging it a little bit on the side if you guys can see we still have a little bit of sort of digital artifacts like that but it's okay doesn't look too bad Okay, and I can basically dial it how I like it. And I really like it like this. So before and after. Looks very cool. So now we have kind of very warm and interesting image. So 
Let's see. This kind of shot reminds me something I would see on TV. For example, the Top Gear. Top Gear always sort of uses the same bright and vivid colors. So, why don't we do... Let me actually call this Hue. Why don't we do what the Top Gear does all the times? And they actually are big fans of using the gradient like this. Okay, I'm not going to go as extreme as the Top Gear. Okay, but I'm going to add it just slightly a little bit. And by the way, guys, um, if you think right now that it looks too noticeable, actually, once you start becoming a better colorist, you can see that they use this kind of gradients all over the place. Mad Max, John Wick. Uh, in the Mad Max, for example, when Fiona walking towards the track, you, you, you can see um, a little bit of uh, vignetting in John Wick during the funeral scene in the first part you can see that kind of a gradient once you start see, seeing it and doing it by yourself you're gonna realize that this kind of technique being used all over the place anyways okay let's continue so let's check it out the whole thing before and after that looks great I really like it so now let me move a little bit forward and see okay so we have a light coming from the left okay so i can amplify that a little bit to create sort of a little bit more dimension so this one is going to be actually you know what i'm going to convert it into parallel okay and this one is going to be gradient and this one going to be light okay that way we're working simultaneously on both of them all right so for the light i'm going to use another gradient just like this very crude okay something like that let's see da, 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 da. power window like this and we'll make it a very nice smooth roll off okay so that looks good i'm gonna go into the luma just like that i want to make sure that i'm not affecting blacks okay i'm gonna give it a nice little smoothing all right, looks great. I'm going to turn it off. And now I'm going to go to the costume curves. And I'm just going to give it a little bit extra pop. Just like this. Okay. Also, what I can do, I actually can give it a little bit more light. Okay. So check it out. Before and after. Before and after. Obviously, I'm going a little bit extreme with it. But, so you guys can see, we can totally get away with this. Okay, so like that looks great. Let's see what we've done. So here's the light. We can see on the left side, it makes a huge difference in creating more dimension. The gradient, again, very cool. And by the way, actually for the gradient, I can even do a mask actually and make sure that it looks more dimensional just like that okay nice feather okay something something like that i'm gonna do clean whites okay boom perfect so check it out before and after it looks like the gradient is natural behind that bush or the tree whatever it is okay so that looks pretty cool I pretty much done with the whole thing. Let's play it back. Let's see. Let's go on the full screen. I'm going to zoom in. So this is before and this is after. Let's play it back. That looks very, very good. It totally looks like something you would see on Discovery Channel. Very nice and fresh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. And by the way, if you guys have any cool footage, you can send it over. I'm going to do color grading on your tutorial and probably provide a power grades. And I'll see you soon. Stay cool.